back to my channel. Today we are going to continue with chapter 1, Physics Quantities and Measurement. So for this video, we are going to discuss on 1.2, Scalar and Vectors. Here we have two types of uh, quantities. The first one is the scalar quantities, where scalar quantities is quantity with the magnitude only, whereas for vector quantities involve magnitude and direction. So for example, car move for 30 km, but for vector quantities, we need to measure not only the magnitude, but also the direction. Okay, and the physical quantities for scalar quantity is distance, speed, mass, time, temperature, pressure, electric current, work and energy. For vector quantities, is displacement, velocity, acceleration, force, momentum, electrical, electric field, magnetic field, and okay, and extra. Okay, so let us look at the resolving vectors. Okay, so resolve a vector means to break the vector into its component. It, two dimension, we're breaking it into two components along x and also y exit. Okay, so for example, let's say this is the magnitude a. Okay, so this a here, we actually, we can resolve it into x component to the right and y component is moving upward. Okay, so we can use theorem Pythagoras where on x exit, we can use cos theta is equal to adjacent, which means ax over hypotenuse a resultant. Okay, therefore ax is equal to a cos theta and for y component we can use sine sine theta meaning that is equal to opposite over hypotenuse okay or a y over a so a y will equal to a sine theta okay so this is how you resolve it into x and also y component okay so let us look at the example. Okay, for x, huh, where the displacement is equal to 100 meter. So this 100 meter, actually we can resolve it into x and y component where x is to the right, y is moving upward. Okay, so our xx is equal to 100 cos 30 and xy is 100 sine 30 okay and the direction is positive positive okay meaning that xx is moving to the right and xy positive meaning that it's actually moving upward okay so you need to consider the sign convention eh? where to the right is positive upward is positive to the left is negative, downward is negative. Okay, so let us look at questions B, where B U is equal to 40 meter per second and the angle is 50 degree. Okay, so 50 degree meaning that here will be 40 degree. So for this case, U can resolve it into ux to the right and uy is moving upward so our ux is positive 40 sine 50 and uy also positive 40 cos 50 okay because it's to the right and moving upward okay so you can write 40 sine 50 for x component or we can write 40 cos 40 degree okay for y component we can write 40 sine 40 degree okay actually it's similar it's similar okay so we'll continue with question c where c is 30 degree 
or we can write it as 60 degree okay if you want to find 30 degree meaning that y is moving upward x is to the left okay so we can write uh, if you want to find x component meaning that the angle is opposite to the x component okay so well, fx is equal to negative because it's to the left then sine 30 degree why then sine 30 degree because angle is opposite to the x exit or we can write okay we can write negative 10 cos 60 degree okay you will get the same answer okay for y component we can write it as tan sine 30 degree or we can write positive tan sine 60 degree so you will get the similar answer you will get the same answer okay so the negative for x exit because of it is moving to the left that's why you will get negative meaning that it shows direction is moving to the left for y component is going upward therefore you will get positive meaning that is actually moving upward for y component okay next question is d so this is the displacement this is s equals to 50 newton okay the force is equal to okay actually it's f eh? okay actually it's f force is equal to 50 newton okay so if you want to resolve it you can, our x is to the left and moving downward for y component so it's negative negative because it's going to the left and moving downward okay so we can resolve it into fifth negative 50 cos 10 degree and negative 50 sine 10 degree okay and the last one is a a is moving to the right and moving downward okay meaning that you will get x is positive because it's to the right and y is negative because it's moving downward okay so the equation for x component is 10 cos 60 and for y component is negative 10 sine 60 degree okay so you resolve it into x and y and you also need to consider the sign convention eh? to the right positive to the left is negative for y component upward is positive downward will be negative okay so next we continue with the additions of the vectors okay if let's say here we have vector a and also vector b okay we have vector a and also we have vector b and if let's say you want to find the resultant okay you need to draw first huh? you can draw okay the first one is if you want to find the resultant you need to use vector a added to the vector b okay it becomes c so the drawing illustrate that cx equals to ax plus bx and cy is equal to ay plus by okay meaning that step one you need to find the total x component and step two you need to find total y component and then you must find the magnitude okay by using the theorem pythagoras and step four you must find the direction by using tangent theta and finally you must draw the graph okay so for example let's say here we have one question okay if let's say here we have two vector the first one is the displacement s1 4.2 km at the angle of 55 degree and the second vector is s2 5 km 
at the angle of 20 degree okay so here we have two vectors and we need to find the resultant so first step of course you need to draw okay you need to draw first the table okay in order to find the resultant okay so we can write x component y component for s1 s2 and total okay so for s1 actually we can resolve it into x component is to the right y component is moving upward so this is xx x1 y okay where s x is equal to 4.2 km cos 55 and for y component is positive 4.2 sine 55 degree okay because both is moving to the right and moving upwards so both is positive okay next is s2 okay if you observe s2 here the angle given is towards uh, near to the y component okay so usually i will prefer the angle is near to the x exit so this one i will use a 70 degree where for s2 x is moving to the left and y component is moving downward okay meaning that for x component is negative 5 km cos 70 degree and for y component negative because it's moving downward 5 sine 70 degree and the total x okay so this is the first step you need to total up all the x component and step two is you need to total up all the y component okay so step one eh? the total x here is positive 0.7 and the total y is negative 1.26 okay next is step 3 so step 3 is you need to find the magnitude okay where the magnitude we must use the theorem Pythagoras xx squared plus xy squared okay so I will substitute inside 0 0.7 square plus negative 1.26 square and the magnitude that we obtain is 1.44 remember to write unit in km because it's given in km next is step 4 where step 4 we need to find the direction okay as i mentioned just now you must use tangent theta where you need to modulus eh, because we only want to get the basic angle so it's sy over xx so i will substitute inside negative 1.26 over 0 0.7 modulus therefore theta or the angle is equal to 60.9 degree okay so remember when we involve two dimension we need five steps and step number five is you must sketch the graph okay so step five is you must sketch the graph how we know at which quadrant okay because the value basic angle here it could be at first quadrant second quadrant or third quadrant okay so you can write notes at here where Okay, this is x, this is y. Okay, when x positive, y positive. Okay, meaning that graph is to the right and moving upward. Okay, meaning that the basic angle is at the first quadrant. If x is positive and total y is negative. Okay, meaning that x is positive to the right, y is negative, is moving downward so the basic angle is at the fourth quadrant again if x negative y also negative okay so x is to the left y is moving downward so the basic angle is at the third quadrant 
and finally x exit is negative and the total y exit is positive okay so x is negative to the left y is positive moving upward therefore the basic angle is at the second quadrant okay so this one you must know at which quadrant so based on the answer that we have here x total x is positive total y is negative okay so step five you must draw or sketch a graph to show the directions okay so x is positive y is negative meaning that this is the the angle is below the positive x exit Okay, here we already obtain all the information where the resultant displacement is 1.44 km at the angle of 60.9 degree below positive x exit. Okay, so that's all for this topic. We will discuss on the next topic. See you on next video. Bye.